I am at R&S Auto Salvage, which is in Oklahoma, right on the border near Fort Smith. And this place is pretty big. I'm kind of at the back of it right now. And I'll be walking out toward the front. Um, I had seen this place for a long time, always wanted to stop by, never had the opportunity. And, uh, you know, just wanted to check it out. I see uh, several kind of old G-body cars, like the older uh, GMs. Those are getting kind of hard to come by, uh, parts-wise. You know, it's strange to me, it has not rained around here for a long time, and yet a junkyard somehow is always wet. I don't know why that is, I've just always noticed that. There, there's always puddles of water in a junkyard, don't know why. Anyway, this place is pretty big, and uh, finally had a chance to uh, come walk around, so just thought I'd poke around and see what kind of interesting stuff they may or may not have. Um, there's a lot of trucks here. A lot of, uh, you know, trucks 10 to 20 years old. That's kind of toward the front. I'm hoping that toward the back maybe there's some some uh, unique oddball cars, maybe. So, there's no real point to this video, just, just me poking around, being nosy. Looks like they may have some older vehicles back here. Oh, I always wonder how they sort stuff here. How do they, like, how do they keep track of things? There's an old Ranchero. That might still be salvageable. If you're looking for a rat rod, I saw a few things. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool wagon. It's too bad it's so rough. That'd be pretty sweet. Some old Camaros. Yeah, I always wondered how they sort these things, if they sort them at all. Oh, that's a shame that LTD so ruined. That's a bummer. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely some older iron back here, which is nice because I think a lot of the, a lot of the '70s cars nowadays they're pretty. They're either really picked over or people just want a lot of money for them and well not a lot to choose from and what i mean by that is like super low price stuff from the 70s that's kind of kind of going away so yeah this would this would be a sweet rat rod right here oh man that's pretty overgrown so something like that would be cool I think if you're building a car, rat rod's the way to go. I mean, that's totally the way to go. There's no rules. They don't have to look nice. You don't have to spend five grand on a paint job. See, nowadays, you'd think somebody would come and pull something like this out of here because that's really not all that bad. Some of this stuff's been sitting out here a long, long time, you can tell. Let's see if I can get a good, cool picture from up here. Okay, if you can see. Okay. Yeah, this place is pretty big. They even left an old uh, old bucket loader back there. Oh. 
I'm glad I came now before everything starts to turn green. And uh, it'll be, I guess this is pretty overgrown in the summer <clears throat> by the looks of it. All kinds of good junk back here. And I mean, really, these cars are relatively low rust, all things considered. You know, I'm sure a lot of these truck chassis are totally usable still. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll never buy another car from a northern state. I'll only buy a car from a southern state. The difference in corrosion is worth it's worth the price to transport it. Absolutely. Because you just don't find stuff from the 70s and 80s that's really in good shape up north, you know, in like Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin. You just don't find stuff like this and, you know, with minimal corrosion on it. Oh, this is cool. That's pretty cool. Somebody could definitely make a cool rat rod out of this. That's pretty cool. That's a... Man, if that thing was running and driving, somebody would pay top dollar for that. I could just spend hours out here looking at stuff. I don't have quite that much time today, but there's another place uh, just a little bit south of here. I think it's called Robert Salvage. I'll have to check that out next time. But this is RNS Auto Salvage near Fort Smith. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. There's quite a bit of stuff to choose from out here. And the staff was pretty friendly, so that was nice. They didn't give me a dirty look when I asked to poke around back here. Which is rare nowadays. Ooh, Eagle Premier. Man, you never see these. That's a rare one. I mean, it's junk, but it's rare. It's trashed out, but it's rare. You need a demolition derby car here you go those are getting harder and harder to come by for cheap that's for sure even though